You are now tuned in to the leaders of real street music, Street Hood Radio, with your host, Johnny Cash, here on StreetHoodRadio.com. Out of the garden production. Street Hood Radio, who's on the line? Hey, what's up? This is Cal the Music. What's going on, Cal the Music? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. This is Johnny Cash? Yep, this is Johnny Cash, the one and only. Okay, yeah, I tried to hit you up earlier, you know, at 1 o'clock, but, uh... Yeah, I had to take know. care of some things, but you know, we here right now. Thank you for calling in the Street Hood Radio. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. First, Happy to be here. Congratulations for being a um, feature hated, a level on featured artist this past Monday, September 26th. And I don't know if you know, but you have been indicted to the Street Hood family, meaning where anytime you have new music, I'll play it for you. You are now officially a Street Hood member family. You know what I'm saying? You're part of the family. Oh, thank you. I and appreciate that. I really do. They like your song. I guess I picked the right song to play. Okay, okay. You know which song did you pick? I don't care. Huh? Nah, I didn't pick. Wh- which song? Which song did you pick? It was a boot thing. Oh, boot thing. Yeah. Yes. So okay. Yeah, you know, I think you guys people, would like that joint. You know. People was calling in. You know what I'm saying? Everything is good now. So now that we got that out of the way, why don't you let everybody know where you're from? All right. Well, I'm Kelvin Music, aka Diva, and I'm from the Bay Area, California. Y'all know what it is. Um, I reside in Oakland right now, so I'm sure y'all hear a lot about Oakland, Frisco, you know, how the Bay get down musically, and the artists that, that come out of the Bay, uh, Too Short, 40, Kick the Sneak, uh, you know, uh, the, the Looney, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, y'all, I'm sure y'all familiar with the Bay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the name Kel the Music, where did that come from, and how did you get that name? Well, Kel is my original name, and then I added music to it because it's what I love. Uh, I've had a passion for music, um, I mean, since I was a kid, and I just figured, you know, why not be creative with, with my name instead of just, you know, calling myself, you know, something that's already out there or tagging along with the new the trend or something like that, you know what I mean? So, gotta be creative with it, but most folks call me Diva because it's like, you know, for my TV show, Diva TV, and from, you know, my previous albums I released, everyone's just like, Diva, Diva. So I'm just like, okay, tell the music, Diva, either one is it's good with me. Okay, that's what it is. So what's the hip-hop scene looking like right now out there in Oakland, the Bay Area? Right now? I mean, it's really good right now. You know, you got, you got the, uh, you got, you know, the mainstream radio giving artists play. You know, on like Friday night and whatnot, just really trying to, you know, break some artists through because they see that a lot of artists are hustling out here. And not only hustling, but just making really good music and taking their music seriously. And that's what people got to remember first and foremost is to take your music seriously, you know, uh, perfect your craft, hone your craft. Um, and, and that's what we're about out here. We're about making, you know, just hot music, you know. I mean, funky, hot, heavy hitting beats, whatever you want to call it, you know, with some good lyrical content to go with it so yeah. yeah so how long have you been doing music i've been doing music roughly for about seven to eight years okay. um you know so i started to take it real serious in 2000 and 2004 and uh, that's when you know started releasing albums and hooking up with management companies and really just trying to you know uh open doors for myself and it just led me to here to where i'm doing international tours Mm -hmm. all over and got uh some more stuff coming up so i mean you know it's a long trail that you gotta follow but you know like they say if you really want something and you stick to your dream something's gonna happen so how old were you when you knew that this is what you wanted to do at a young age i'd say like probably about maybe like 12 years old where I just said, okay, you know, I want to do music. I want to focus on music. When I was younger than that, I, had, you know, I was in acting and modeling, but that was just because that was fun to me, like a hobby. But after that, I'm like, you know, I, I really am into music, recording, performing. I love entertaining. I just have this, you know, certain outburst sometimes where I just want to get on stage and just let loose. 
So, um, since I was about 12, yeah. All right there. So, was there anybody who um, influenced you to get into music? I mean, there's quite a few artists that influenced me to get into music. Um, I remember when I was about 13, 14, I remember when The Brat came out. You know? Yeah. And that right there, I was just like, I, I like the whole idea of her. I like the clothes that she wore, you know, everything. It, 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 was, it wasn't it was anti-woman. It was just more like, I'm going to wear clothes that feel comfortable on my body, you know. And she mm-hmm. made it cool for women to, 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 you know, wear baggy clothes. Same thing with TLC. Yeah. So, you know, just looking at her and left eye and stuff, I'm like, you can still be a, a pretty hot woman and still wear, like, baggy, cool clothes and look sexy. You know what I mean? And still be pretty. And that's what really, you know, sparked my interest and, in, you know, really personal music. Right, so I'm gonna put you on the spot right now. Like, um, who are you listening to right now in your iPod? I'm listening to Ricky Rosa. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it is. That's it. Yes, That's I, I love Rick Ross. Right. I, I think he's like the he's like the hip hop version of Barry White. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that. You know. So with so, this battle, um, I'm listening to him. I'm listening to you know bad. Um, uh, what is it? Bad meets evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, Eminem and Royce the Five. I'm yeah. really digging that album. Um, I'm about to pick up that J Cole album pretty soon too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm digging the you know Kanye West Jay Z album. That yeah. album's pretty tight. So yeah. Yeah. you know, I, I keep all the current stuff in my album right now. I, I'm really like an old listener. I like listening to like old stuff too, yeah. like like yeah. DJ Quick, Naughty by Nature, Ice Cube. Yeah. Uh, Jay Z's Black Album, Yuck Mouth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of Eminem's old albums, some Shady LP, Too Short to Get in It album, E40, you know what I mean? I, I kind of like listening to all the old stuff, but you know, the new stuff, you gotta, you know, yeah. always gotta stay current, so yeah. yeah. So, with this battle between Jay Z and Lil Wayne going on right now, like, who would you pick to win out of this battle? And why? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just, I, I think everything just all, you know, entertainment for, for you know, the audience out there. So it's no better than, you know, these guys performing on stage. So it's like, it, it, it's more of just, I, I think, you know, both of them have an understanding of what's going on in the industry. And, you know, it's got to kind of create a little controversy, uh, you know, to keep your name fresh out there. So I, I like both artists. I respect both artists. I would never, you know, choose between each one. Man, damn that! I, I'm going for Jay Z. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I mean, it's not because I'm from New York. It's just that I've seen Jay Z grow from from '88 to now, and to me, my opinion, Little Wayne is just feeding off of everybody else. And he's not the same person that when he first came out. So he's just using everybody else's stuff. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Right. You know. And I feel, you know, people, you know, people have their opinion of, of both artists, you know, and some opinions are valid, and then some are just more just personal things. But, you know, I definitely respect that. So I'm going to put you in the hot seat again. So I don't know if you have yeah. worked with these artists. Have you ever worked with any of the old school artists, like Too Short, any one of them? I work with them, so from the Louis. Okay. So I'm going to ask you this. If you had a chance to work with, you know, like Too Short, MC Hammer, or E-40, which one would you pick and why? I pick E-40 just because, I mean, I mean, I, I love all three artists, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, but E-40, I, he's definitely um, an artist that I've always been following since I was just hella young. <laughs> yeah. You know, and just, I, I like his style, the way he raps, you know, it's just like... Everybody likes E-40, like, I really like people, I mean, the fact that, you know, you still keep his name in your mouth, it's like, E-40 is a very respectable artist, you know, yeah. and uh, his songs always just, they always grab me all the time, you know, like, I mean, just, in a major way, my ghetto report card, I mean, those are the two albums that, to this day, I'll slap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, E-40 would be the one. When I first heard of him, like, when um, he came over that Sprinkle Me, we didn't quite get him. We didn't know what the hell he was talking about. As time went on, it was like, okay, we know what he's saying. Because, I mean, he had his own style, his own way of talking and rapping and everything. So we wasn't used to that. So we was more used to, like, N.W.A. and Digital Underground. So then when he came over, it's like, who is this? 
But yo, everybody <laughs> feeling them now. I can understand them now. Like too short, I always like too short. It's just something right, right, right. you know what I'm saying? Say, see a female, like, bitch. He had everybody saying that. And I mean, females yeah, even I respect mean, them for saying that. That's the crazy thing. Right, right. I mean, because they know what's up. <laughs> yeah, but no, E40, that, that's the thing. That's why I do like him a lot because he does have a creative style that, 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 that is, you know, that people could easily hate on. But I mean, that's more of the reason why, you know, a lot of people love him too. Yeah. You know, when you just come out with something new like that, I mean, it's either you're going to get love or, you know, hate. But I, I think after, like you said, he grew on a lot of people, especially in the East Coast. They kind of had to, you know, adapt to that and say, okay, you know, this guy's not so bad after all. Yeah. So what's the name of the project that you're working on right now? All right. So right now I'm on the cultural exchange tour. Um, so basically I've been on uh, a few international tours. Uh, I went to Barbados last year. I was invited to perform out there. And then I went to St. Martin uh, last September. And then uh, recently I just got back from Antigua. And then went back to Antigua to open up for uh, Jack Cure. And uh, I'm not sure if you guys heard of Jack Cure, but he's huge. He's from Jamaica. Uh, he did a few tracks. He did a track with Rick Ross, Perry Hilson. Uh, he, he's huge in the Caribbean, so I'm about to open up for him at the Heroes Music Festival. And then uh, after that, I'm going to Barbados to perform uh, during in, during Independence Day. And then I'm going back to St. Martin to celebrate New Year's uh, and perform out there. So right now, it's just like I'm hitting the you know the Caribbean scene real tough and possibly some other international areas real soon. But uh, that's the project I'm working on, the Cultural Exchange Tour. And I call it the Cultural Exchange Tour because it's just, you know, I'm culturally exchanging my background, my knowledge of music, hip-hop, art, with their knowledge of music and Caribbean and art. You know what I mean? Okay, so are you a signed artist or are you unsigned? I'm an independent artist, and I currently run my own label, and I have people that work under me. So, I mean, I really wouldn't say, like, I'm a signed artist. I'd say I'm signed to my own company, but no, I'm, I'm an independent artist. So how do how does an independent artist get on an international tour like that and if they're not signed? I know a lot of people want to know that. Yeah, yeah, definitely, and a lot, and really, a lot of artists are doing it. I mean, it's just really you gotta have the right team working behind your project, almost like a label. You know, you gotta work with people who are gonna function like a, a group of people at a label, and you know, do looking for you, the PR, the promotion. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, everything is 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 all about everything is all everything is about money. Don't get me wrong, but if you just have people who have the drive and, and the want and, and the need to just you know put themselves. Um, out there for you, then I mean, you just gotta get people who believe in you and respect your project. And once that happens, you, know, you just start to put things into uh, into perspective. And you know, you have meetings once a week and say, okay, this is what we need to do, this is what we need to create. And just, you know, don't be shy to pick up the phone and talk to people, you know, and tell them what you do. You never know what could happen. So, if there was one artist or one producer that you always wanted to work with when you was a kid, to now, who would it be? Um, I'd say Just Blaze. Tim, uh, well, you could just one. <laughs> um, I'd say Just Blaze. He's one producer that I've always wanted to work with. And why you pick Just Blaze? Well, I mean, just hearing the, the music that he makes for, for Jay. Uh, the beats that he makes for, for Saigon, like, I'm just like, instantly when I heard that, maybe about four or five years ago, back in 2004, I was just like, this guy's real smooth with this stuff, and he keeps it current, you know what I mean? And it still has, like, a jazz feel to it, with a hip-hop feel to it, like, it just, I don't know, but he just has that, that type of, um, that, that type of music that'll put, that'll make you zone out, you know what I mean? Yeah. So where do you see yourself in five years in this crazy music game? Oh man, I'd, I'd like to stay where I am, just, I mean, obviously, you know, tap into more markets overseas and obviously here in the U.S. and just really, you know, be on that just independent level where, you know, say somebody like Tech 9 you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. He's major on an independent level in his own way, you know? It's 
it's like everybody thinks it's all about getting signed and you know money and everything but it's just you guys this is a career you know you got to treat it like any other career if you want to be a doctor or a, or a dentist or whatever you got to go through you know the proper you know you got to go through the proper orders of you know trying to be that so I, I just see myself on the level where I'm at now just you know make it a little bit bigger because I'm happy at where I'm at right now so if there's any young females out there that's listening right now and they're trying to be with care the music is that all Want to be like Kill the Music? What advice would you give to them? To the young female? I just say really continue to, to continue to not only perfect your craft, but be your own creation. Don't try to you know duplicate what's out there. I mean that's a lot of that's a problem with a lot of you know artists today. They see what's out there, so they make the same songs, the same topics, got the same voice, writing the same type of lyrics. You know what I mean? And it's just like you could say the same thing, but do it tastefully in your own way. Because all the topics today now are about hate, drinking in the club, love. But it's just all about how you interpret it. You know what I mean? So the best thing is just be your own creation and, and get your own buzz. Don't depend on anybody. And once you do something like that, you'll realize how many people will respect you. And you'll see what kind of following you have. And somebody, that person, I don't know who will come along and, you know, decide to work with you, whoever it is, family member, a cousin, just somebody. Like, hey, you need you know, a helping hand, let me try to get you a show here. Let me try to, you know, get somebody to, to notice you. So it's just about being your own creation and not copying what's out there. That's what it is. That's what it is. So before we get out here, let everybody know how they can get in contact with Kelda Music, whether Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or whatever. Just let them know. That's right. You guys could hit me up on Twitter at Kelda Music. That's K E L D A M U Z I K. Google me, Tell the Music. Visit the website, tellthemusic.net. Hit me up on Facebook, Diva Music. Feel me? So, uh, I mean, y'all know what it is. Diva, Tell the Music. You guys will see more of me out there soon. And I'm going to be providing footage, bringing back footage of the Caribbean back here to the, to the States so you guys can see how they get down in the Caribbean. Same way, just like us, except for, you know, they, they get a little, you know, crazier with their music. So, uh, yeah. That's what it is. Once again, I'd like to thank you for calling Industry of Radio and much success to you. And I'm looking forward to seeing the videos and hearing new music from you. You know, your people okay. have my information. So anytime you got new music, get it to me. I'll get it on. Anytime you want to, you know what I'm saying, get something off your chest, hit me up. We can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? We can do it just like that. Okay. That's what's up. I appreciate it. Johnny right, then. Thank you again. Okay. Oh. All 